Happy Wine Wednesday, beautiful people. So we're excited. You seen our little, um, you seen our little video yesterday about what we made the goulash and we matched it with the Cabernet Sauvignon, the Guanac. So if you haven't got your order in yet for that, you have till tonight at six o'clock. Okay, to get that um, and Facebook message us for the wine code so you get a discount. So tonight, because fall is in the air, I went to work and I was looking at all the leaves falling and it was just so beautiful and this is a beautiful time of the year. So I decided to make quinoa stuffed acorn squash with cranberries and feta cheese. And I went to the local farmer market down the street and I got um, the ingredients, the fresh uh, produce to um, make that. The reason why I'm making this is because we're trying to be heart healthy on recipes now. Um, so I just wanted to give you some fun facts about this uh, dish I'm making. Um, it's packed, can you see it? It's packed with minerals, antioxidants, filling fiber uh, from the veggies, and 100% whole grains and li limited sodium on this, okay? Because we're going to use kosher salt. So it makes for a happy heart. See the little heart in there? He's really happy and pounding hard and uh, getting that blood through the blood vessel. So what I did is I went down to the local um, farmer's market, like I said, and I got four of these uh, golden acorn squash. You can use any kind of acorn squash as long as it's acorn squash. Um, but I got these little golden ones. I brought them home and Cheyenne thought they were little pumpkins. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these on the outside. And then I'm going to, of course, get rid of the stem. And I'm going to cut. See where the pointy end is? I'm going to cut about half an inch off of that. And then I'm going to cut them in half. And I'm going to scoop out the seeds. And make sure you always compost because we have our composter over there. And then I'm going to get some um, olive oil. And I'm going to spread um, them with uh, olive oil and put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And I'm going to put them hollow side down. So we're going to have the halves. I'm going to put them on the, the pan here and cook them at 425, which I have my oven warming up. 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. So now while that's happening, I'm going to take you over here to my little workstation. This damn kitchen's always my workstation, I swear. Um, so what I did is I wanted to do something fun for fall. I just didn't want to use my regular white quinoa. So I went and bought some red quinoa because they didn't have any mixed quinoa. So I'm going to mix it myself because that's how Mexicans, we're not Mexicans. We're Mexicans and we can do what we want. So I got my red quinoa here. See how pretty that is? And then I have my white quinoa. going to mix that all together and blend it all up. Okay, so while those acorns are, um cooking in the oven. I'm going to put uh, some water in here with the quinoa. Well, first I'm going to put some olive oil in here. Then I'm going to dice up this onion from Walla Walla, Washington. Dice it up and I'm going to saute it there to get a little bit of um, soft there. Then I'm going to add the quinoa, uh, the cram dried cranberries. No, I had the cranberries last, but I'm going to cook the quinoa with the, with the pep, with the onions. And then um, I went and Got some fresh thyme from my little thyme outside. I have uh, all my herbs outside on the deck, so I just went and clipped some. And I'm going to have about maybe two teaspoons of this, I think. So I'm going to put some of that with the quinoa when I'm in here. And then um, <clears throat> I'm going to add the cranberries, okay? And then I wanted to show you my little turkey. My, this, I got, when I went to Turkey, I got this, uh, this uh, nice ground pepper. So I'm going to fill up my little... Um, I'm going to... Whole pepper. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in here and grind it up in the salt uh, grinder. I meant. <laughs> Thanks, Nadia. But it, it, this is a really good pepper from Turkey. And then of course I always have my kosher salt um, to reduce that sodium level. So I'm gonna cook that in that pot. Okay. So when that's done, about 10 to 15 minutes, then um, I got some chard, Swiss chard. Hang on, let me grab this with the, so it don't drip on my wood floor. Okay, so I got some Swiss chard here, okay? It kind of looks like kale, but it's not kale. But it's always w right with the kale uh, where it's at because they're all kind of related. You know, they're all related. Everybody's related. I don't care if we are y'all related. I might be related to the guy next door. No, because he old and white and ugly. I have, no, I don't care. He's just old and ugly. I don't care what color he is. Um, so I got my chard, my Swiss chard, okay? And I'm going to cut off the stems. Right there, you see the stems? I'm going to cut those off. And I already rinsed this, and I'm going to chop it up to make about six cups. Okay, six cups. Let me throw that baby back in there. I'll make about six cups 
and put it in my uh, big ass bowl here, in Pimp Chef. And then right when the quinoa is done, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna put the chard in there, okay? And then, I'll probably just use this towel. Then I'm gonna put a towel over it just like this, and I'm gonna put the lid back on like that, because that's going to steam that uh, chard to make it uh, more, how do you say, wanga? I say wanga in Spanish, but like weak, I guess. And then when it's done, I'm gonna mix it all up, okay? And then I'm going to stuff them inside those acorns when they're done. And then I'm gonna crumble some feta cheese on that. I got me some um, feta cheese crumbles. I'm gonna put some crumbles on there, on the top. And that's what we're having for dinner because it's healthy, okay? So now Jesse Hellstrom sites, Hellstrom sites. I know that you know everybody's kind of getting crazy on that gluten-free stuff that I posted. I didn't even know why everybody was getting upset. But uh, what we do is we make our own bread and then we freeze it. I don't bake the bread. Tati bakes the bread. She also makes the bread in the house, like that kind of bread. So then we get the bread and we wrap it up in our little paper, okay? And she makes these little loaves, and they're so good. So we know what's going in our body, Miss Jessie. And so, you know, maybe you make your own bread too. So I took this out so we can have some nice bread and put some butter on it or whatever, just eat it like that. Um, but I love fresh bread, so I took that out. I'm gonna let that thaw out a little bit. Uh, yesterday I had um, some bananas that were gonna go bad. And I don't like to waste food around here because you know, waste is not good. So I just busted out a banana nut bread with some walnuts, had some walnuts in my pantry. I just threw them bad bitches up in there, mixed it up and cooked it. And I know Barbara Ortega Bastine, you wanted some of this bread. I was supposed to take it to K. Rawson, but I, I didn't see that post on Facebook. So I'll send some tomorrow, if Evan's there. So anyway, we always having um, everything made, homemade here and all that. One last thing, what kind of wine goes with this dish? What kind of wine do you think will go with this dish? Okay, now think about it. It's light, and you've got some quinoa, so you think <laughs> Cheyenne's down there doing MC Hammer with them damn pants on. So what I'm gonna have, I went to our Wine Decadence Wine Cave in the garage, where we have it all stashed, and I'm going to have this Novella Dolce Blanco. I see the little label there, that's a main ad. And the main ads were the wine goddesses back in the day of the Greek mythology. And they just got drunk and danced and got crazy and had fun. Okay. So we're going to try this Novella Wines. This is also on our website. It's really, really good. Um, so um, again, I'm going to throw out a little discount. If you want this white uh, Dolce Blanco. And this is a good California wine. And it has the flavors of ripe pears, apples, and citrus with notes of sweet spice. So, you know what? You have till 6 o'clock tomorrow night to Facebook us, order this, and um, get that wine code for the 5% discount. Okay, so now uh, we're going to namaste out. I'm going to cook. I'll post pictures of what the squash looks like. And y'all have a happy Wine Wednesday. Ciao, Bella.